Hello, um, I'm a civil engineer. I joined Angle and Water some 37 years ago. And when I joined, it was a legal requirement for everybody to have one day's storage of water in their house. And for that reason, there's a system which has been developed in the UK and Southern Ireland, which is basically different from most of the rest of Europe. And as a result, we have a lot of situations where there's low pressure in this country. The typical system has a cold water tank in the loft, which will supply all of your hot and cold water. And there will be one mains water to the kitchen, which was the legal requirement. Now, that's all changed now, but there's a lot of these about. And one of the advantages was that you did have water storage when the mains failed. One of the disadvantages is that a lot of the pressure that you had in the mains is lost because the only pressure is what's in the tank and the tank is in the loft or you may have a four tick tank which means you've got very low pressure. Now a typical system by law will have, and this is by law, needs a copper pipe and a vent. And the vent goes to the cold water tank so that if for some reason you leave the immersion heater on instead of the tank blowing up the steam escapes from the vent into the top of the cold water tank. The cold water tank will have a feed pipe which is just above the bottom and that comes in to the bottom of the cylinder and there will be almost well, certainly an old-fashioned gate valve there which is clockwise close to isolate the cylinder from the cold water tank. So the pressure that you've got in a typical house is maybe one metre head because that's the distance from the top of the tank or, or part tank to the top of the shower. And with a shower power booster adding three metres then it's going to make a shower which has got one metre head have four metres head, four times the minimum, you've got a good shower. But the only other way for a lot of people would be to put this tank on the roof or on the chimney. The shower power booster actually allows you to get that same pressure as putting it on the roof, on the chimney, but with a simple pump on the feed from the hot cylinder. Thank you.